Okay, so we've got quite a tricky question here. We're basically melting this block down and making little ball bearings out of it. But I want to make the least profit. I've got to be careful because I've measured things to the nearest millimeter, nearest millimeter, and um, oh, sorry, nearest tenth of a millimeter. So this is really a maximum, or what we call a max min problem. Now we want the least profit, so we want this to be as small as possible and to make the largest number of these out of it that's going to give us the big problem the largest I want these to be as large as possible so I want the smallest amount of steel and I want these to be as big as possible and that means I'm going to make less of them if I wanted the maximum profit or the greatest profit I want this to be as big as possible and I want these things to be as little as possible then I'll get more for my money so well the first of all let's convert all of these to millimeters so it's 150 and 80 and then normally what we're going to be careful of is normally 300 millimeters well that's got the maximum that could be to the nearest millimeter is 300.5 millimeters the minimum could be is 299.5 this technically would be rounded up so we say this is the maximum value this is the minimum value for our calculations so for the steel uh, the minimum of the steel I don't want to do 30, uh, 300 times 150 times 80 I want to choose the least amount of steel so I'm going to do 299.5 imagine all the lengths were over measured and it was actually less times 149.5 times 79.5 so filling out my calculator, 299.5 times 149.5 times 79.5, I get uh, 3559632.375 millimeters cubed. So that's the volume of steel we've got to work with. If we work with the ball bearings, now, ball bearings, it says they've got a diameter of 5, so that means they've got a radius of 2.5 millimeters, which we need from the formula. And that's nearest, nearest to the nearest tenth. So, we'll, we'll come to that. So, the, the bearings, the ball bearings, I want these to be as big as possible. The ball bearings, I want to maximize them. So, instead of doing 4 thirds pi r cubed where r was 5 uh, r was 2.5 2.5 2.5 i want to do 4 thirds times 3.142 times well i want this to be as big as possible so i want it to do 2.55 cubed so let's do that 3.142 Cubed times by four divided by three. That means each ball bearing is sixty nine point four six four nine zero oh seven millimeters cubed. So, well, I want to find out how many ball bearings I can make. So, if I do Three five five nine six three two point three seven five. My answer that means I have fifty one thousand two hundred and forty three point six ball bearings. So I'm just going to take that means I can make a total of those ball bearings. So it costs me. So divide that by 10, that's how many pence, divide it by 100, it gives me 51 pounds and 24 pence. So that means my profit, because it cost me 50 pounds to start with, my profit is 1 pound and 24 pence.